Food waste is a serious problem. Some estimate as much as 40% of food in the U.S. ends up in the trash. That's everything from you tossing out milk that's gone bad to commercial food producers trucking out tons of scraps. That second piece is really where there's a big opportunity for change. And the Food Lab at Drexel University is helping make it happen. Ours is a very practical challenge. It's what do we do with all this, right? Food producers come to the Drexel Food Lab with a food waste problem, and students will develop commercially viable products, what they call upcycled food. The project we're doing right now is for Bimbo Bakeries USA, which is the largest bakery in the country. They have about $635 million of bread and other baked goods that are returned to the factory because they've reached their sell-by date. We get returns from our different customer teams, whether it be grocery stores, convenience stores, or otherwise. And we wanted to find a means for reuse for our products. The very first thing we do, we observe people in their natural habitat, figure out how they're interacting with bread, how they're using bread. The next thing we do is some consumer insights. We bring consumers into the classroom and do a focus group. Those develop into themes around which we generate new ideas. We prototype, we recheck them with consumers, and by the end of this really rapid 10 weeks, we will have solutions for the company to consider. It's important for Bimbo Bakeries USA to have a dialogue and to help solve the food waste problem. We're a big company, we have an opportunity to provide a great amount of impact. Waste is a social construct, so what you do with food determines whether it's food or waste, right? We want to reframe waste to think of it as not recycling food waste, but preventing food waste. We have a long history at Drexel of providing a lot of those ideas to our students. I'm working on an avocado pit tea. Turns out avocado pits are really high in antioxidants and I was like whoa we're just throwing these away like we can create something out of this there's nothing wrong with it it's perfectly fine we're just not used to using it that doesn't mean that we can't do other things with them the World Bank estimates that by 2050 we're going to have to increase food production by 50 percent to keep up with the growing population if you're a farmer if you're a baker or whatever you're doing no one can scale 50 percent but then if you factor in that 33 to 40 percent that we're wasting and chip away at that 50 percent that we need then you start to see okay maybe this isn't so bad we're getting a lot of requests from food producers who want to green their habits or make healthier food, but they need help doing that. They need ideas, they need energy, they need talent, and we can work with them to provide that.